New details on Irene Lovano, her case, her boyfriend who police say stabbed her multiple times before dumping her body in the desert. He is facing new charges tonight and now a second arrest has been made in the case. Court documents shedding some light on what led up to the murder of Miss Lovano. Fox 10's Justin Lum joins us live in the studio with more. Justin. And John, that second arrest is crucial. The arrest of a witness who police say withheld information for days. And court documents reveal he watched the murder of Irene Luvano after being threatened by the primary suspect, Jorge Lara. Ultimately, this witness led investigators to Luvano's body. <laughs> it took five long days for Irene Luvano's family to make it here. But this moment is the complete opposite of what they envisioned knowing the 37-year-old mom of six was left to die in a remote area of Salome in La Paz County. We found the spot where my sister was last left at. Um, as you see, I still have the sticks where her blood marks. Court documents say Luvano's boyfriend, 28-year-old Jorge Lara, stabbed her in the neck in Phoenix early Sunday morning after a night at a bar. Luvano's loved ones say she told them over the phone to call police. According to investigators, cell phone records show Lara's device went west towards Quartzsite. He and Luvano were in a Chevy Impala. Now we've learned a third person was in the car, 24-year-old Diego Tehran, Lara's roommate. When they stopped off Havada Road near I-10, police say Tehran watched Lara stab Luvano multiple times and dump her in a secluded area. Lara's device placed him back in the Phoenix area before 11 that morning. When police later found him at a valley hospital, they say he claimed he was robbed and had a stab wound in his stomach, later determined to be caused by Luvano as she fought for her life. All week, Lara was held on unrelated charges. By Tuesday night, the Chevy Impala was found in Avondale at a Filiberto's parking lot. On Wednesday, police served a search warrant at Tehran's apartment. That's when investigators say he admitted to lying to police when the investigation first began because Lara threatened to kill his family before the murder. By Thursday morning, he brought police to Lovano's body. As Phoenix PD announced the discovery, eyewitness Tehran taken into custody by officers. He's facing one count of hindering prosecution. Lara is accused of first-degree murder, aggravated assault, abandonment of a dead body, and kidnapping. It still hurts us that she's not here with us, and it hurts us the way he would have the guts to come and throw her out here, just leave her out here in the middle of nowhere. In his post-Miranda interview, police say Lara admitted to stabbing, to the deadly stabbing. His bond is $1 million cash. He has a status conference set for next Thursday. John? Okay, Justin.